people are beginning to disembark. You're sure you recognize them? A man, a woman, and a boy. Madame Simone, I can't miss. Indeed, there they are now. Get in. 16 Rue du Champ. Will we soon be safe, Jean? Providing you tell no one, absolutely no one, who you are. Why have we stopped? Look go. Out! Driver! Driver! Oh. Oh. You never give up, do you? Never. What happens to Shao now? A return journey by another route. New Orleans has too many royalist sympathizers to remain here. And what happens to me? Eventually you will face the Revolutionary Tribunal. But it'll be some time yet. In the meanwhile, you are the boy's mother and my sister. Unless you try to betray us. In that case, you'll have to share the fate of your recent companion. and saddle horse for yourself and Oman. Our guide will take over the driving from here. Are you sure you can trust that guide? Oh, certainly. He's totally ignorant of the situation and will remain so. Hello. Oh, Mr. Legault, you're back already. Yes, my sister and her child were among the first off the boat. Coach is ready, so the two men will return it after we reach our destination. So I see no reason to delay starting at once. It's bright moonlight. I'll be right with you. Almost midnight. Well, you can sleep in the coach. Who else is going? Oh, just a nice French family going north to Vincennes to visit with relatives. Come on. Loma, your horse is here. Israel, looks like you're going to have someone your own age to travel with. Who's this boy, Monsieur Boone? My son, Israel. Your son? You didn't tell me you had a son. Well, he was with me when we first met. Anything wrong with his being along? 
Anything wrong? Oh, no, 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 monsieur. Uh, I was merely surprised. Of course, Estrella is most welcome. Put him in. You can curl up on the seat there, son. Hello. My sister, Madame Simone, and her son, Charles. Bonjour, monsieur. Now, Monsieur Boone, let's be on our way. What's it like there? What's wrong? Son, your father said he wanted you to sleep. Please do so. The bullet came within a fraction of an inch of his heart. I can't say whether he'll live or not. But can you bring him to consciousness, even for a minute? He has information of the utmost importance. It would be better to let him rest. To stimulate him might prove fatal. If he lives long enough to tell me what happened, I don't care. And I can assure you, Doctor, he would agree with me. Every second is precious. Chame, can you hear me? Philippe. No, 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 no. Save your strength. Just tell me, what happened to Charles? Let go. Hurry, let go. Let go? Where has he taken Charles? <sighs> How did it happen? Tell me anything that will help me find them. Trapped in a closed carriage by Lego and others. Chame! What else? You'll kill him. That's enough. I only hope it is enough. Yes, there was a coach that left last night. About midnight. I know who the driver was. Yes. A man from Kentucky, uh, Dan Boone. Came down the river with a load of furs, and he was about to head back over the Natchez Trace when this uh, fellow hired him as a guide. Was this other man's name Henri Lego? Don't know his name. Well, who else was in the carriage? Don't know that either. I saw Boone and the man who hired him, and the boy, of course. Boy. What's boy? Boone's boy. Now, wait. I do remember talking to Boone earlier. He was waiting for a ship from France to dock, and there were some people on he was going to take back north. I guess that's who was in the coach. Although none of them ever got out. Sure were in a hurry to leave. Yes, they would have been in a great hurry. They have a long head start. Thank you. May I ask how you knew it was I? Very simple. We've been assigned by the Committee for National Security to guard the child. Therefore, he could not have escaped from prison without your assistance. What did the royalists pay you? Nothing. I see. You were secretly of their party all along, a traitor to the cause of liberty. That is not true. I detest them. It was only for him. He's completely innocent. Make no mistakes. He was guilty the moment he was born. Guilty of being who he is. Get a good night. 
that sleep, Israel? Yeah, nothing to do but sleep. Did you get acquainted with any of your fellow travelers? No, nothing. Only the boy's name is Charles, and his mother's name is Madame C. something like that. If they want some breakfast, it's time they woke up. You're helping them take me back to prison. Or to death. No. But if I try to stop them, they... they'll get rid of me. And then you would be all alone. Perhaps the guide would help us. If the guide learns who you are, he will be killed. So say nothing. We can only hope for an act of providence now. Better get out and have some breakfast and stretch your legs while you've got the chance. It's going to be a long day. Yes, sir. We can go out for a few minutes. Charles would not look out of the window. Why can't the boys talk? What possible difference can it make now? Mr. Boone, hold up. Whoa. 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 What's the matter, ride too rough? No, your boy says he wants to ride up there with you. All right, come along, Israel. up there with me? Sure I do, Pa. It's a lot better than being inside. Only I didn't ask. He did. You didn't, huh? Some kind of trouble? I don't know what's going on, Pa. That kid's just scared all the time. Just plain scared. A companion would give Charles a diversion. Something to occupy his mind. Why must you add cruelty to everything else? Not cruelty, mercy. Despite what you think, I've never killed except for the security of the cause. If Boone's sons learn who Charles is, he will naturally tell his father, and our cause will be threatened. Do I make myself clear? Oh, yes. I understand you. And I am weary of causes. Why can't you just leave us in this wilderness? Let us vanish. Because it's the seed of evil, and seeds sprout even in the wilderness. Perhaps even better there. Are we stopping? Well, good place to spend the night. Plenty of grass and water for the horses. It's too early to stop. We'll keep going. But go, these horses have been pulling steadily since we left New Orleans. Even if you don't need a rest, they do. They are good for a few more miles before sundown. Maybe. What's the rush? Nothing. I simply want to reach my destination as soon as possible. Well, that's what we're doing. We push that team much harder, we're gonna all end up walking. The horses don't have to go beyond the Tennessee River. Well, that's a fair stretch yet. Something seems to be worrying you. What is it? Isn't that a rather personal question, Mr. Wood? I agreed to take a group of colonists north to Vincennes. 
If it's something else I'm doing, I want to know about it right now. That's all it is. Nothing to hide. I must apologize for my impatience. Well, there's no need to apologize. If that's all that's bothering you, we'll make camp right here. Now I'll get to the horses. It's getting too dark to be certain, gentlemen. And with nothing to guide us, except the trace left by one wagon and a few horses, we'd better wait until morning. I wonder how far ahead they are. Less than when we started, and tomorrow, we'll be closer. Just before mornings when lots of animals come down to drink. But I have no shoes on. Who cares? Come on. Deer, possum, raccoon, and maybe even a bear. What would become of us if we just kept going? What do you mean? I mean, would we starve to death? Would the Indians get us? I don't know. We ain't got a gun. And besides, Pa would track us down before we got very far. I see. You mean there's no way to escape? What do you want to escape from? I, I cannot tell. I bet you want to escape from your uncle. Citizen Legault is not my uncle. Madame Simon is not my mother. Oh? Then who are you, anyway? I cannot tell. I can tell no one. You mean you don't know who you are? Oh, yes. I know who I am. Then why can't you tell me? Because if I told you, and anyone learned I had told you, you would die. Well, then, I'll keep it a secret. You're not afraid to know? Not if you're not afraid to tell me. I would like to tell someone. Well, then, go ahead. You swear to tell no one? Sure, I promise. Not even your father? For if you do, he will die. No, I won't tell him or anybody else. Who are you? I am Louis Charles Capet, Louis the Seventeenth, King of France.
What have you done with it? Where is it? I don't know. Hold on now. Israel's gone too. More than likely they're together somewhere close by. Israel! But if you're a king, what are you afraid of? Why don't you just order those men around and make them bow down to you? Citizen Legault was among those who had my father and mother executed. He bows to no one. I'm his prisoner. What about Mrs. Simon? She too. When we return to France, she will face trial for treason and die. But if they want to kill you, why haven't they done it already? Because then no one would believe me dead. It must happen in France so that those who want me on the throne will lose all hope. Gosh, then you've got to get away. Israel! Israel! Pa's looking for me. Now look, I know I promise, but I'm going to tell Pa anyway. No, you must not. They'll kill him. They won't know I've told him. I've got you. He can save you. But then if you both die, I'll be to blame. And if you die, I'll be to blame. I'm going to tell. I'm over here, Pa! Pa! Tell him what? What has Charles been saying to you? Answer me. Take your hands off of my boy. Is anything wrong, Israel? No, Pa. We was both awake, so we came down to the stream where we could watch the animals come to drink. And what else? Mr. Legault, I think the time has come for you to make a clean breast of things. Otherwise, we part company. Except for worrying us a little, I can't see that the boys have done anything wrong. You are speaking about matters of which you know nothing. That's right. And I want to know. Otherwise, Ezra and I will go our way, and you can find your own way to the Tennessee River. I don't think it'll take you more than a week extra. Monsieur Boone, you are puzzled, suspicious. So be it. Possibly my manner is at fault, but I assure you that I'm acting in the interests of liberty and equality, values for which I would gladly give my life. I simply ask you to lead us to the Tennessee River as soon as possible and ask no more questions. My cause is just. Those are mighty pretty words, but they don't tell me anything. It's the best I can do. That's your privilege, but I'm not buying a pig in a poke. Israel and I'll be leaving on foot. We won't bother you anymore. Come on, Israel. But, Paul, we can't leave them. Why? That's what we plan to do in the first place. Well, I'm not worried about us. I'm worried about Charles and his mother. Worried about them? Why? They have plenty of protection. Or do they? All I mean is, since Charles and I have just made friends, and him and his mother live in Vincennes, I might want to visit him sometime. Maybe I had forgotten about that. You want me to come along, Charles? Well, Boone. Well, it'll be morning soon. I reckon by the time we have breakfast, it'll be light enough to hitch the horses and leave. Let's go stir up the fire, Israel. You come in, Charles. Stay with them. Don't leave Boone and his son alone. How much do you think Boone's son knows? From what I overheard, he knows everything and intend telling his father. Well, that leaves us no choice then. They'll have to be eliminated at once. Not yet. We need Boone. There were others besides ourselves expecting Charles in New Orleans. They may be after us already. We can't afford any delay in reaching the Tennessee River. But if Boone learns the truth, we'd be forced to kill him anyway. Yes, of course. That's why I must not know. Israel won't talk in front of witnesses. From now on, they must not be alone. All right. There you go. Up on the seat. Monsieur Boone? Yes, what is it? For the third time, I must apologize for my rudeness. If Israel would prefer to ride in the coach with Charles, he may. Why the sudden change? It is simply that boys have become friends. So they might as well be together. Thank you, but I think I'd rather have Israel up there with me. He has to, or they'll kill him. 
S'il vous plaît, Monsieur Boone. Charles is so lonely. Is there living there something you want to tell me so I'll know what's going on? No, Pa. And I think I better get in the coach with Charles. He needs me. Only if Mr. Legault will ride up here with me, I get lonesome too. An excellent suggestion and a welcome chance, Monsieur. Merci. We should have thought of this sooner, monsieur. It's been confined in the carriages that made me so irritable. Get up. Cold. They may only have stopped to cook. By the way, the grass is mashed down. I'd say they slept here. And it's not noon yet. If they didn't leave until daybreak, we have cut their lead in half. much farther to the river. Oh, not far as the crow flies. See those hills ahead? Several ways to get through. I don't know the best one yet since the rains. And beyond the hills? An easy grade to where the trace ends on the Tennessee River. There's a little settlement there. Any particular landmarks to lead one to it? I reckon I'll be able to find it all right. Or were you thinking of dispensing with my services before we get there? You almost left us of your own accord, monsieur. I simply tried to be prepared if I had to become my own guide. Ha! Charles, does Israel know who you are? Yes. I'm sorry as well. I never should have told you. I ask you to. Israel, did you tell your father? No, I haven't had a chance. You will never have a chance. Once we reach the river, your father's work is finished. He doesn't know it yet, but he's driving you both to a rendezvous with death. They're not leaving any tracks at this kind of ground, at least none that I can follow. Yes, but they had to cross it. They must be heading into the hills to the north. Yes, but where? If we lose them now, they beat us to the river, and after that, we'll never catch them. We will get across a stretch to where the ground leaves tracks again and then spread out. The man that picks up their trail can signal the others. They might be miles apart. Then we'll use smoke. This would be easiest. Then we'll just have to move on and find out. I was thinking maybe uh, we could save a little time if Ormond and Perot did that for us. One could check the route dead ahead, the other could check the valley to northeast. They can move twice as fast as a coach can. We can just sit here and wait for them. I don't think I like that plan, Monsieur Boone. Why not? You're the ones in the hurry. True but it would leave just you and me here, with the children and a woman. Only for an hour or two. Sufficient time to get killed by an Indian attack. Besides, I'm not certain that either Ramond or Perol would be able to tell which way was best. So we stay together. 
Choose whichever route you wish. Dead ahead. Yeah. Uh, it didn't work. What do you mean? Didn't you hear? Pa's trying to separate him. If he could only get that let go alone for a while, then I'd tell Pa everything. And he could save us all. Well, then at least he knows that something is wrong. Well, he knows something's wrong, all right. He just doesn't know what or how wrong things are. I didn't hear anything. Pretty far away. Sounded like two shots from the same gun. Anything significant about that? Only that it had to come from a pistol. Indians and hunters don't use them. Ha! part was over. I don't see any way around it. Then what do we do? Well, we'll dig and chop our way through. Let's see what kind of tools we have. We got a shovel. Keep three men busy. And if you can bear to tear yourself away from guarding this coach, Lego, and do a little work yourself, we'll be able to cut a path through by dark and maybe move on in the morning. All right, let's get to work. Pa! Look! A signal fire. Savages? Ordinarily, I'd think so, except for those two pistol shots. One thing's certain, though, it comes from a spot on our trail. Israel and I can backtrack and find out. No. If someone is after us, the most important thing is to get the coach through that wash. You've been acting all along as if you thought maybe somebody was after us. Who and why? An unwarranted assumption, monsieur. Now let's get to work. All right. Take this and I'll show you what to do. Come on, Israel, you can help too. I don't think so, Monsieur Boone. Where my boy is concerned, I do my own thinking. They are safer in the carriage in case of an attack. I absolutely forbid Charles leaving it. I always feel safer if I've got room to move around. Come on, boy. You make things increasingly difficult, Monsieur Boone. You ever try an explanation? That's all right, Pa. I want to stay with Charles. Please don't argue with him, Pa. That's right, Monsieur Boone. Don't argue. I'll explain this much. If we are being followed, the men on our trail will be merciless to you as well as to me. So all that matters is that we get the coach in the clear, and as quickly as possible. Come on, let's get out. I thought it was all over, right then. I, too. Next time it might be. Because if I know my pa, he's going to come after me next chance he gets. That can be fatal to both of you. And all because of me. If I could just die or vanish. With me gone, the go would have no reason to kill anyone. Maybe you can vanish. How? Well, pa won't try anything until dark. And if Charles and me could... 
If Charles and Lee could change... <laughs> Use your bar and shovel to cave this bank back and make a ramp for the carriage. He and I'll go to work on those dead logs. Come on, Lego. Keep an eye on that carriage and keep your guns ready. Boone is too suspicious. He can't be trusted anymore. Only long enough to get the carriage through this ravine. From what he's told me, the rest of the way is easy. So we'll go on without him. You coming, Lego? Yes, monsieur. Get to work. Just might be Philippe Gamay on our trail. They are somewhere in that valley ahead. And no way to get out of it until they're through the hills. And all we have to do is follow the valley. And we can do that in the dark. Yes, and will. too dark to see. Anything's left to do, we can do in the morning. I'll feel much safer if we get through here tonight. All right, we'll give it a try. This shoulder's pretty loose. Stay close to the coach in case it tilts. We'll stay very close. do something. You watch. Get ready to jump. Stay on this side. Yes, Mr. Boone. As soon as we are through the wash, dispose of him. We are going on tonight. Finish with them. Follow me. I'm going ahead. Let them go. You still have us. I won't have you long if Boone lives to tell his story. But if I can't get you to France, we'll end everything here. everything except why you and Israel swapped clothes. Because the only reason the girl would kill you in Israel is to keep from losing me. But if I'm already lost, he'd have no reason to kill. I wish I had your confidence. Stay here. Oh, 
Wait! Wait, I tell you! I'm not a man you're after. Then who are you? Daniel Boone. It's more important for me to know who you are. Get me? Mind my asking just where you fit into this? And it was to me that Louis Charles Capet was to have been delivered when he reached America, to live in peace under another name, until he could be restored to the throne. Just so he had a chance to live in peace. Charles, come here. Charles? It is! Oh, Monsieur Boone, how can we ever repay you? You can't. If any harm comes to my boy Israel, right now you can let me have this man's horse to go after Legault. Oui. Oh, dear. We have to help him. You are all that matters to me. I'm taking you to safety. No. Both Israel and Madame Simon risked their lives to save mine. We can't desert them. They are commoners and of no consequence. But you are a king. You remain hidden in a place of safety until the day comes when we can restore you to the throne. And if that day ever comes, I'll remember the man that refused to help my friends. Very well. It might be best to see that Legault is dead. Boone and Israel? No, we ran into Philippe Gamay and his men. I think we got two of them, but they got Perot. Gamay? That might be him. Whoever it is, stop him. Ho, ho! Yes, Henri. Monsieur Boone is Charles, and you will never see him again. Your mission is failed, and you dare not return to France yourself. So let us go. You escape while you can. Let go! I'm asking just one thing. Let Israel and Mrs. Simone go unhurt, and as far as I'm concerned, you can drive out of here alive. Boone, if 
you ever want to see your son alive again, you'll hand over Louis Charles. I don't have Charles. He's with Philippe Gamay. So any further killing is senseless. Let your prisoners go. No! Go to Madame Simon. You won, Gamay. You have a pistol in your hand. Please use it and be accurate. Like I said a minute ago, there's no reason for any more killing. But even more reason for dying. Thank you for making that necessary, Lago. And now, Charles is mine. To keep and use for my own return to the power and... I suppose you'll be wanting to go back to New Orleans. No. I want to forget the past. So if you will take me on north to a French settlement, I will find a home there. And perhaps some lonely hunter will want a wife who knows how to work. But what will happen to me? Well, you have no choice, Charles. In France, the people think that you are dead. And in America only, we four know who you are. I will never tell. I have no use for kings. And if you, or Monsieur Boone, or Israel, told anyone you were the Dauphin of France, you would be laughed at. So, whether you like it or not, you will have to stay with me and grow up like any other boy out here on the frontier. What are you grinning about? I think maybe he'd like that for a change. Charles? Charles Simon? Well, let's get rolling. Yes? <laughs> <laughs> 